Hey guys, welcome back to Travelling with Tashan. Today we are here at the pink city of Jaipur. It is said that in 1876, Maharaja Ram Singh had the whole Jaipur painted pink, the color of hospitality in India, to welcome Queen Victoria's son Albert Edward. After the guest had left, Maharaja Ram Singh passed a law to maintain the peculiar terracotta color for any future building in the city. Jaipur has been known as the pink city ever since. And today we are visiting the city palace which is laid in a unique pattern with wide avenues. It is a unique and special complex of several courtyards, buildings, pavilions, gardens and temples. The most prominent and most visited structures in the complex are the Chandra Mahal, Mubarak Mahal, Shri Govind Dev Temple and the City Palace Museum. The Mubarak Mahal courtyard at the City Palace was fully developed at the late 1900s. The facade of the Mubarak Mahal has a hanging balcony and is identical on all four sides. The intricate carving in white marble and beige stone give it a beautiful look. The Mubarak Mahal now houses the museum offices and a library on the first floor and the museum's textile gallery on the ground floor. The palace complex lies in the heart of Jaipur city. The history of the city palace is closely linked with the history of Jaipur city and its rulers. Starting with Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II who ruled from 1699 to 1744. He is credited with initiating construction of the city complex. Initially he ruled from his capital at Amber which lies at a distance of 11 kilometers from Jaipur. He shifted his capital from Amber to Jaipur in 1727 because of an increase in population and increase in water shortage. Gajalis. These are two huge sterling silver vessels of 1.6 meters height and each with a capacity of 4000 liters. They were made from 14000 melted silver coins. These vessels were specially commissioned by Maharaja Sawai Madhav Singh the second to carry the water of the Ganges to drink on his trip to England in 1902. Hence the vessels are named as Gangajalis. They hold the Guinness World Record as the world's largest sterling silver vessels. Sarvota Bhadra, a unique, unusual name. refers to an architectural feature which is a single story structure with a square open hall it was used as the diwane khas or the hall of private audience which meant the ruler could hold court with the officials and nobles of the kingdom in a more private intimate space It's also one of the most important ritual buildings in the complex and continues to be so today representing as it does living heritage
left right there is the Chandra Mahal. Isn't it beautiful? The inner courtyard which provides access to the Chandra Mahal. Here there are four small gates that are adorned with themes representing the four seasons. The peacock gate, the lotus gate, the green gate and also the rose gate. motifs of peacocks on the doorway representing monsoon isn't it beautiful look at the intricate work on it Stay tuned to visit more exciting places of Jaipur with us. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time.